Hello, that's me. I am 11 years old. These are my friends. We went to Seven Stories in the castle to meet Judith Carr, the famous author and artist. We got to look at her original drawings. Not copies, the real thing. Judith's 86 now, but when she was little, she went on a very long journey indeed. I got a signature. The train was almost empty and they had the whole compartment to themselves until a lady with a basket got in at the next station. Anna could hear a sort of shuffling inside the basket. There must be something alive in it. She tried to catch Max's eye to see if he'd heard it too, but he was still feeling cross and was frowning out of the window. Anna began to feel bad tempered too. When do we get to the frontier? she asked. When Judith was little, there was a big world war. It started in Germany, where she was born, by an evil man called Hitler. Hitler hated Judith's father, and she and her family had to run away from home. Through Switzerland and France, until they eventually arrived in London, where she still lives today. They had to leave in a hurry. By mistake, Judith left behind her favourite toy, the pink rabbit. It felt like Hitler had stolen it, and she's never seen it since. We asked her all about it. How did it feel when your dad was wanted? Very, very frightened. They published a list of people they said they would shoot once they got it to power, and my father's name was the second on the list. We got out of Germany uh, with 24 hours to spare. My mother only had a week to pack everything to give up the house. Whatever she thought would be best, which was terribly difficult, I found she'd packed some of my pictures that I'd done. Uh, so we still have them. Deciding which toys to take was the hardest part. In the end, there was only room for some books and one of Anna's stuffed toys. Should she choose Pink Rabbit, which had been her companion ever since she could remember, or a newly acquired woolly dog? It seemed a pity to leave the dog when she had hardly any time to play with it. When we left, we didn't think it would be forever. We thought, oh, we come back in six months' time. We can always have something sent on. And of course, the stuff was all confiscated. So then I, I felt I'd made the wrong choice. If you ran on a long journey and could only take one thing, what would it be? Hmm. I will take my go go crazy bones because I've got lots of memories having them. And they'll remind us about my nana and everybody who I know. And they'll help us enjoy myself if I do go on a long journey, ever. I'll take my family picture, it's the only one I have. It'll keep me company in case I'm not with my family. My pinker white rabbit. 
because my dad gave it to me when I was three and my dad lives far away from me so I keep it in my room so it will remind me of him. Which journey did you like best? Oh, I think I like Paris. It was hard at first because I couldn't speak French. And once I could speak French, I thought it was wonderful. My brother, he always liked, you know, as everybody does, to be like everybody else. So he learned French very quickly and then found that he was top of the class. I can speak Russian, Korean, and a bit of Spanish and English. I speak Portuguese. What language do you speak? Ми прочитали, коли Гитлер украв розовий зайця. What happened when Hitler came to power? Oh, uh, dreadful things. He had somehow convinced himself and a lot of the Germans that everything was the fault of the Jews. The Jews were all thrown into concentration camps. I don't know if you probably know what that is. Uh, sort of very nasty prisons. They were killed, they were murdered, they were gassed, and their bodies burned. There were six million Jews one and a half million were children. I still think how incredibly lucky I was to get out and not to be one of them.